my dear students how are you i think you are all well with the grace of almighty allah welcome to niivs home school i am mohammad ali aminopu an assistant teacher of mathematics national ideal innovation school morning shift today i am going to take a mathematics class for the student of class 2 my dear students our today's topic is emb page number 24 word problem wp means word problem number 8 9 and 10 that means we will solve today three word problem 8 9 and 10 from your book page number 24 your lecture number is 19 and today you have the homework your homework number is 16 my dear students okay <coughs> now we are going to solve the problems the first one is question number 8 i have write down the three questions here okay already the question first question is number 8 is Raju bought fish for 45 taka and vegetables for 38 taka from bazaar. How much did he spend altogether? That means Raju bought fish for 45 taka and vegetables for 38 taka. These two takas she uh, he spent for the bazaar. Okay, that means we need to add to calculate the total amount of expenditure. Now this is the solution of question number eight solution okay the solution will be Raju bought Raju bought Raju bought fish for fish for 45 taka your copy is small that is why you can write down like this way if you can write down raju bought fish for 45 taka in one line then it also be okay okay now raju bought fish for 45 taka vegetable for vegetables for how much taka vegetables for 38 taka 38 taka now i am going to calculate the total expenditure that is why we should add this two number we must give the addition sign you can give addition sign here you can give the addition sign here also okay i am putting that in sign in the top in the first okay of the words now we should add this two number when we add something we should start from the ones place that means first of all we should add five and eight if we add five with eight we'll get how much five and eight my dear students up to 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 this is 8 now we'll count out 5 1 2 3 4 5 this is 8 and 5 now all together count together it's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 that means when we add these two we'll get 13 and 13 is a double digit number you can write down only once place 3 here okay in the ones place now 1 is carrying in our hand now we will add 4 and 3 if we add 4 and 3 we will get 7 with this 7 we will add 1 1 and 7 will get will make 8 that means it will be 8 in the tens place so in total expenditure is 83 taka okay 83 taka so total spend total spend total spend is 83 taka okay my students now we should write down the language we should write down the language by arranging some words here from the question the question is how much did he spend all together therefore we should write down therefore 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 he spent he spent 83 taka all together all together I hope you have understood how to write down the words by arranging the language. But it says, therefore, he spent 83 taka altogether. You must write down also the answer here. You must write down the answer. Otherwise, if you forget to write down the answer, the teacher will forget to give you the numbers. Okay. So, answer will be 83 taka. Okay. My dear student, this is the solution of question number 8. Now, we will solve question number 9. What is question number 9 here? Look at the question. It's question number 9. Annie and his friends went to Prabhat Ferry of 21st February in two groups. Prabhat Ferry means in the 21st February, our International Mother Language Day. In that day, we make Prabhat Ferry, okay, in early in the morning. 
and they make two groups okay to make the Prabhat ferry in one group there are 29 persons and in the other are 35 persons how many persons were in the two groups that means in these two groups how many persons are there we need to calculate that's why we should add these two again so write down the solution here and look at the board there is the solution okay solution of question number nine first of all in one group how many persons are there in one group there are 29 persons so write down in one group in one group in one group you can write down 29 person in one group 29 persons okay in the other group so you should have done in other group in other OTH here other group in other group there are how many person there are 35 persons in the other group 35 persons now dear students we need to calculate how many persons are there in these two group together that is why we should add to add this one we should give a line we should give the addition sign in the before now we can add if we add 9 and 5 first of all we should start from the ones place that's why we should add 9 and 5 add this 9 and 5 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 after that we should add 5 1 2 3 4 5 this is all together how many you need to count out it's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 it's 14 that means 1 and 4 makes the number 14 it's we should write down only this one's place 4 here in the one's place okay and 1 is carrying in our hand now 2 and 3 count it 1 2 then 3 1 2 3 how much is this It's 1 2 3 4 5 it is 5 and carrying 1 makes 6 5 and this carrying one makes the number 6 so it will be 6 in the tens place so 64 persons there are in together in the two groups okay 24 person now we should write down therefore total total 64 person but it's a word problem we need to write down some words by arranging the language here okay the question is what is question is how many persons were in the two groups you should write down therefore 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 there were there were how many persons 64 64 persons there were 64 persons in the two groups in the two groups okay and after that what you should write down the answer the answer is 64 persons okay 64 persons i hope you have understood how to solve it okay now we are going to solve question number 10 before that you should write out the question number 10 the question number 10 is riaz kept 35 catfish and 45 uh, 47 tilapias in his tank tank means a pond okay in a pond there are 35 catfish and 47 tilapias how many fish did he keep in the tank that means in total there are how many fish we need to calculate that means it's also an addition problem right so question number 10 solution you should write down here in the right side the students it's solution of question number 10 okay there are how many catfish riyadh kept 35 catfish right so write down riyadh kept riyadh kept 35 catfish okay and also he kept 47 tilapias so you, you can we can write down he kept okay he means riyadh he kept 47 tilapias Okay, these two are the fish name. Okay, now we should add it to calculate the total number of fish in the tank. That is why we should give the addition sign and before. Then we should add. We should, we should add from the ones place at first. Five and seven. First of all, add five and seven. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Then we need to count seven from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
So how much is this? We need to count it together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So it is 12. 1 and 2, 12. In this 12, there are two digits. So we should write down this 1's plus 2 in the 1's plus. After that, 1 is carrying in our hand. Now 3 and 4 of the 10's plus need to add. Now 3, count out 3. 1, 2, 3. And then from here, we should count out up to 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now how much is this in total? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It is 7 in total. And 1 was carrying in our hand. This 1 and that 7 will make 8. Okay, so 8 would be in the tens place. That means in total 82 fishes. 82 fishes. Therefore, total, total is 82 fishes. After that, we should write down the words by some arranging the language. My dear students, what will be the language? The question is how many fish did he keep in the tank? It will be our words. So you can we can write down therefore therefore Riyadh kept Riyadh kept 82 82 fishes 82 fishes in the tank in that tank that means in that pond of Riyadh Riyadh kept 82 fishes in all together right our answer will be what? Our answer will be 82 fishes. I hope dear students you have understood how to solve the word problems of this three word problem. Dear students you have the homework and dear students you have the homework number is your HW number is 16 and you must do this three problem in your homework. That means your homework is EMB page number what? Page number is 24 and what problem number is this three? That means you should solve in your homework copy question number 8, question number 9 and question number 10. Okay. From the book page number 24 and mention the HW number 16 in your HW copy. I hope you have understood how to solve the problems. See you again inshallah in the next class. Till then Allah Hafiz.